Man, and we got some stuff to talk about today. No, that's right. It's seven o'clock, it's time to cheers. Everybody do a long Tuesday afternoon. Finally done with the work. It's time to kick back and relax a little bit. And what better way to back and relax with a little bit of food. There's so much going on. Food's the one thing that probably puts us at ease and makes us feel good. Doing a simple little steak tonight. We got some flank steak. Green and white asparagus. Before anyone even says anything, yes, I brought them from the restaurant. I didn't get them from Publix. We got a bunch of mushrooms. We're gonna make a simple salad of some chopped up cucumber and some tomato oil, olive oil and vinaigrette kind of thing going on. But tonight, sponsored by Vino Vertes, our good friends over at Corte Vente 2015, new vintage this year, Brunello. Some fresh juice. Very, very tasty. It still needs that time in the bottle. Now, before we get this thing started, we're going to teach you how to blanch tonight. Blanch asparagus, okay? It's a technique that every restaurant's probably using if they're serving some type of vegetable. Very, very simple process. The process is to cook very quickly and then to chill very quickly and stop the cooking process. That locks in the, the, the color on all the green vegetables. Very, very simple. blanch you want to have a nice little bucket of ice water to stop the cooking process 
Water's boiling. First and foremost, let's talk about the chain being closed real quick. With all this stuff going on, all this mask wearing mandatory, all these restaurants getting a case of the COVID, we decided to shut it down for the month of July and be back August. We got a new project starting. Our courtyard's gonna be beautiful. We have a new brand new courtyard for those that you don't know. We just felt that economically the month of July was going to be a bust. We were going to see this whole thing get worse before it gets better. So we decided to just keep our employees safe, keep us safe from you, and just shut it down. And a lot to do has to do with economics as well. People aren't coming out, in case you haven't noticed. If you're not one of those people that are coming out, then maybe you do, but restaurants are suffering at half capacity or no capacity. And with this new mandate that came down, it kind of sunk it down another notch of uh, people just not coming out to dine. And people are scared. We understand that. So we're going to take this time to regroup and stay healthy, keep the place clean, and come back in August. So. So let's get to the food now. How about that? Boiling water. Now, I have a big family here. We, I cook for seven. Our family is a size seven. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a lot. So I have five bunches of asparagus, three white. Like I said, I got these from the restaurant since we're gonna be closed. I took the food. You know, I didn't want it to go to waste. These are beautiful. So. Trim the bottom off a little bit because that part can be very fibrous. And a lot of times you can peel these individually, each peel each one of them, right? Well, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. We're eating this for enjoyment. We're not here to be fancy, okay? Uh, but the white asparagus can sometimes be a little fibrous, more so than the green. All right, so into the pot of boiling water. Now this process does not take long, especially with asparagus. This is about a minute, a minute and a half, two minute tops, depending on how thick your asparagus are. Okay? So while that's going, we got our pan getting hot here. Okay? So we're going to sear this meat. Okay? Turn the oven on. That might help. Okay? That was some delicious extra virgin Greek olive oil from Molina. My, my friends over at Molina. Got a little season. I got a little of that Chef Eric voodoo magic right here. I'm gonna throw that on there just for a little bit of flavor. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give it, you know. Once again, this is just a piece of flank steak. It's kind of lean, okay? So again, let's not forget about the asparagus. And boom. You'll see how these kind of get a little white. That's where you want them. And then 
I take the, the rubber band off immediately. Boom, these guys are chilling right now. Can I cheers everybody yet? Cheers to the Tuesday. And to, this is gonna get better. We're gonna get through this. I know we will. We'll be bigger and better. All of our restaurant friends, we're all going through the same thing right now. We were gonna be so much better when we come back. What was that? Oh, look who's here. Oh, you have your hair for the barn. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So, hot pan. This, this sucker's hot now. This oil is ready to go. So now we're going to gently place this in the pot here. Pan here. So with the channel being closed for a, the month of July, which probably means you're gonna see a little more of me through that hashtag butter TV. You know, we are gonna take this time to rest and, and enjoy our time off as well. But I can't help, this is what I do. I cook food for a living. What's up, all my RHS friends? It's good to see everybody out there. I hope everybody's safe, everybody's good. But this is going hard. We want to sear this pretty really, pretty really good, okay? You want to do a pretty really good job on this searing it. So you want it to stay, don't touch it, don't let it, let it do its thing here as it's caramelizing in the pan, okay? Hot oil, hot pan. Once again, you'll see the white, it's hard to sound to see, it's kind of got like this little baby white there. That means it's done. And you'll be able to reheat these without overcooking them. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. I'm with you, Johnny, let's go, man. You tell me when, we're going. I'm gonna move over to this burner here because it's just a little higher over here. But <coughs> found my kitchen gadget the other day. Now you're probably going, what is this? You know, is it a strainer? I'm straining my voice. I'm straining my voice. No, it's actually a grease catch. Keep the splatter down. Which makes for less of a mess. And around here, you know what I mean? Around in here? We appreciate all you two that were supporting us too, Tammy and the rest of our chain of crew.
you ever get a chance to get some white asparagus, do yourself a favor and grab some. They're delicious. So, maybe it's a good time to say, you know, tell me what you want to see cooked. Maybe you can tell me how you want to see something prepared. We're afraid of searing seafood. Maybe we find out how to get some seafood and we should do some seafood together on this show. You don't know how to make a meatball? Let's make a meatball. So now I'm going to take this steak, it's on its second side, we're going to see that side, we're going to lock in the juices and all that. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and add our mushrooms and some garlic. I love me some mushrooms, love me some mushrooms. Look at that. Boom. Into the pan she goes. Just like that into the oven. Now, I'm going to add a little more oil. And then I'm going to get these mushrooms going. Yes. Another item that I brought from the restaurant, and that's why there is so many. those going. Prepare my garlic. Yeah, my talkies, Jeff, they're one of my favorites too. That's a mixture of my talkies, criminy, some of the Makos. We have some brown clam shells in there. We were buying these uh, variety pack from one of our vendors to give us a little bit of each of those. Oh. One of them groovy tunes right here. Making steak and mushrooms with asparagus. Kids are gonna have white asparagus for the first time here anyway. All right. This is some about some nice steak and some roasted mushrooms. Now those are starting to roast. I have another pan that I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking as well. It's gonna be a big batch. A 
always clean as you go. All right? For all you kitchen monsters out there that use every pan and every every pot. Sometimes you can make this a little bit of a game. How less of pans can you use to make a meal? Now you saw I just took the steak, seared it, pulled it out, put it in another pan and put it in the oven. And then I went right into the pan with the mushrooms, right? That I was still using that same steak pan. You could do that for a lot of things. Salt these mushrooms, pepper. Now, if you don't remember from a while ago, back when we first were on break, my chef tip, the reason why your salt and pepper shakers are rigid on the bottom is so you can do this number. And the pepper comes flowing out. It's amazing. I never believed it myself until I saw it and started doing it. Look at that. I'm gonna take a little of this voodoo magic. So we got our mushrooms roasting, we got our garlic going. We got these beautiful green, perfectly blanched asparagus ready to get heated back up again. Also on the down low, we got an event maybe coming up at the beginning of August. Pairing up with two great chefs from the Tampa Bay area. What up, Tommy? mushrooms they got a lot of moisture and you want to cook all that moisture out and so when you start to salt them that's when they'll start to release a lot of that moisture and start to soften and start to get caramelized in the pan don't forget to hit up that butter tv on that youtube channel if you want to see past videos of me doing these shows hit up the butter tv on youtube Hit up our Facebook channel page, become a friend, tell your friends. Now a lot of times, growing up as a kid, as a little simple salad, we would have some cucumbers and tomatoes, some simple red wine vinegar, some nice olive oil, Usually have some rain around here, but not today. Look at these mushrooms. All sweated down.
I'm gonna add a little salt to this, these cucumbers, just a little bit. I'm gonna crack some pepper into this. And just mix that around. It's gonna be herbless tonight, but that's what we got, so what we're gonna do. Let that sit to the side. Let that marinate. If you can make that ahead of time, it's probably a little bit better before you have it for dinner. But if not, again, throw some lettuce in there. You got your vinaigrette already in there. Boom, done. live and doing this right away you want to take these out of the water what doesn't mix is hot oil and water that'll cause some flare up you don't want that All right so I'm gonna take these dry them off now once they've chilled you can pull them out of the water refrigerate them because you can do this ahead of time and then when it comes to dinner time you can pull them out and then reheat them All right Now one thing I do love on my asparagus is a nice little dusting of some breadcrumbs. Once again, some salt. Some fresh pepper. Right? You can take this off the heat now. It's gonna be enough. And just a very light sprinkling. Okay? Now these ones are just plain breadcrumbs. You can buy them with the cheese in it. Now I just kind of toss them around a little bit. Alright? My flame is off, but it's still hot. Alright? Check on the steak. Got a couple more minutes, but this is off. I'm gonna take these out of here. Put them in the fridge when it's time for dinner, right? Get on that paper plate tonight. steak is done, we're going to pile some steak on there and we're going to call it a night. So we got our asparagus, white and green, perfectly blanched, heated back up, salted, a little bit of uh, breadcrumb, kind of slightly toasted just to add a little bit of texture. Now we don't have soft and soft because a lot about eating is textures, right? So you don't want to have too many things that are soft and steak is kind of soft. Mushrooms are definitely soft. Asparagus, if there was nothing on them, they would be soft. So then now you're eating three soft things. You don't want to do that. That's how we mess with your mind by giving you textured food, right? All right, yo, glad to be back. We're gonna get through this together, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.